Just do it. Chances are you've probably heard this phrase as it's arguably one of the most iconic slogans of all time. However, very few know about its gruesome origin story. It involves this guy, this commercial, and this serial killer. Yup. That's right, a serial killer is credited for exploding Nike's business and making it a dominant force in the sports world. So, how did it all happen? This is the shocking story of Just Do It. Our story starts with this man right here. His name is Gary Gilmore, and he was born in McCamie, Texas on December 4th, 1940. Gary had quite the criminal record that started at the young age of 14. It includes multiple car theft, assault, and armed robbery charges. In 1936, at the age of 36, he was put on parole and went to live with his cousin, Brendan Nicole, who tried to help him find work. However, his job searching efforts would come to a commanding halt. On the evening of July 19th, 1976, Gilmore robbed and murdered Max Jensen, a gas station employee in Orem, Utah. The next evening, he robbed and murdered Benny Bushnell, a motel manager in Provo, Utah. The record shows that Gilmore shot himself in the hand in the process and fled to his cousin for medical aid, but she turned him in over to the police. Gilmore was sentenced to death in October of 1976 and sent to Utah State Prison the same year. When he reached the end of death row three months later on January 17th, 1977, he was asked if he had any last words. Facing down a five-man firing squad in a plain t-shirt with a bag over his head, Gilmore said, let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking, how does this all tie into the most iconic sports slogan of all time? Well, now let me introduce you to this man. His name is Dan Wyden. He's an advertising executive who co-founded the Wyden Plus Kennedy Advertising Agency in Portland, Oregon. Like Gary Gilmore, Danny was a Portland native. Dan vividly remembered the killer's crimes and, more importantly, the last three words he said before he was shot. He took inspiration from those words and would later birth the idea of Just Do It. He pitched the idea to Nike in 1987, who at the time was failing to keep pace with the more fitness-focused approach of Reebok. However, Nike wasn't fond of the idea. Phil Knight Nike's co-founder told Dan that I don't need that sh Wyden said, just trust me on this one, and eventually changed Knight's mind. I like the do it part of it, Wyden told filmmaker Doug Prey in his 2009 documentary Art and Copy. In another interview, Dan said, I was trying to write something that would tie it up so it could speak to women who had just started walking to get in shape, to people who were world-class athletes, and had that same kind of connection with them. At the time, Dan and the marketing team at Nike had no clue what was in store for them as a result of using those three simple words. Now it's time to introduce this ad right here. This is the first ever television ad to feature the Just Do It slogan. It was released in 1988 and features a man named Walt Stack, an 80 year old man that claims he runs 17 miles every morning, even in the winter time. At the end of the 30 second ad, the three iconic words, Just Do It, would flash on the screen. That simple commercial would change the trajectory of Nike's business forever. The brand sales subsequently exploded after the release of the ad. Dan said, the general public surprised us all. Immediately, Nike started getting letters, phone calls, and so did Wyden plus Kennedy. He also added, I think what happened, it was sort of like with a lot of things in life, it's the most inadvertent thing you don't really see. People started reading things into it, much more than sport. After the booming popularity of the original commercial, the famous tagline would be branded into Nike's ad campaigns and brand image for the next three decades and counting. The next big hit with consumers was the If You Let Me Play campaign, which of course featured Just Do It. It was targeted towards women to motivate them to play and be included in sports and was wildly popular. But most importantly, the hit campaign continued to embed Just Do It in consumers' minds across the globe and propel Nike sales past all of its competitors. Nike sales grew by more than 1,000% over the next decade from the release of the original Just Do It ad. In 2021, Nike's revenue hit $44.5 billion and the brand continues to grow sales year over year. Of course, there are many other factors that propel Nike sales, like its partnership with Michael Jordan and many other star athletes, as well as its continuing innovation in sports gear. But if it wasn't for Dan Wyden and his idea, Nike may have still been struggling to snowball its reputation with consumers to this day. So, thanks to this delusional and crazy killer who murdered two innocent people, Nike propelled itself into the sports industry by leveraging the motivated minds of its consumers. And they did it with these three simple words. Just do it. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it!